Sam Wrigley and welcome to the Wine O'Clock Show. This week we have special guest Christy Hayes joining us on the couch. We chat all about Axel Rose joining ACDC, how long should sex last for and a whole lot of fun. So grab yourselves your wine and enjoy this week's show. I'm Tam Wrigley and on the couch this week we have the gorgeous Helene Dyke and Christy Hayes. Yay! Yay! Woo! She's Welcome. dying, dying, dying to try her birth. So cheers, <laughs> cheers ladies. Cheers, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. Happy, Friday. Yes. happy wine o'clock. Mm. Get that verb. We are shouting her verb today, so mm. Mm. Oh, who doesn't mm. love French champagne? Thanks, ladies. Oh, you're welcome. That's going down a treat. It's going down really well. Mm. I'll, so, I'll go slowly, I promise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sip, sip. We don't want you a, a hot mess on the floor by the end. Not yet. Time. Yeah, not yet. So, darling, tell us. Yes. You've left home and away. Yes. Where are you at now? So, right now is motherhood and uh, writing and then, you know, Australian bits and pieces and, you know, some plays coming up and obviously uh, some, you know, LAEs on the cards and a few films that are about to happen. Mm. So right now I'm uh, just kind of, you know, going with the, the flow of, of motherhood, yes. which who has a flow with that? It's, no. it, it knocks you for six. But having said that, um, it's also when you become your most creative, mm. I think, you know, having kids mm. has just made me, you work harder, you work sharper, you spend the time that you have for yourself yes. doing things. So, um, very long answer. The short answer for you. <laughs> Sorry. As you can see, I get excited when there's adults I can yeah. actually talk to. Um, <laughs> and then I've got a few, I've got a few films that I'm doing. Um, one shot in France, um, one mm -hmm. very exciting one, which I not in a, you know, I hate when people, I can't talk about it way, but yeah. need to wait until it's all confirmed. Yes. Um, and, you know, I'm up don't for like that. You know, I don't like talking about things until I know it's a solid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Otherwise it's like, oh, you just said you were doing like this massive film. Yeah, and now you're not. Yeah, now you're like, you know, <laughs> no, no, now you're happened? doing anything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's the plan. And you're writing for Mamma Mia. Yes. That's exciting. I think that's really cool. Um, not, not, I think I'm really cool. Yeah. I think. <laughs> oh, I think, exciting. You know, I think it's Cheers really cool. That, yeah. Thank Cheers. you. Yes. Absolutely. But I think in a sense, um, what is really cool is 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 writing from the heart, mm. trying to be relatable to other women. I think is really important, and I've always loved Mamma Mia. Yes. So even just for myself, I thought, oh, you know, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I'm quite proud that they really loved my work and that women seem to be really enjoying what I'm writing. The whole thing came about quite organically. Um, I think I shared a you know a post on Instagram about motherhood, and then they you know kindly got in touch and said you know we love these words. And I mm. you know it's like when I talk to adults, I just kept <laughs> writing. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got so much to say. Um, so it's it's new, but yeah, no, I, I absolutely love it. It's it's and it's great as well um, mm. when you're a mother mm. because it enables you to do something for yourself, and it's kind of like a therapeutic. Is it, is it all about it. motherhood, being a mum, children, or is it more your personal? I think it's more well. What, what I would like to do at the moment, it's been quite quite mumsy because mm -hmm. um, that's obviously what's quite it's in your universe prominent in my life yeah. right now. Um, but oh my gosh, I've got a lot to say. You know, I want to write about lifestyle and and the arts and um, actually some exciting news. Uh, Tamman, who played my sister on Home and Away, yes, my yes. big sister Tamman yes. Sursok, yes. yeah, who's just smashing it in mm -hmm. LA. Um, she's actually started up. A really big uh, publishing company, effectively like Mamma Mia, and I'm on board writing for her too. Oh, so, oh, that's so yes. awesome. so congratulations! Oh, yes. let, yes, that's let me keep cheers. saying things that deserve a cheer, so we can keep drinking. <laughs> so, one of our viewers who absolutely loved the One O'clock Show, a couple of them actually wrote in and would love to ask you some questions. Oh, I love this. I love this. Um, yeah. Michelle Evans from Look the Sunshine out. Coast. <laughs> yeah. I tell anybody everything. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's like Michelle, she's, it's like she's already had like. <laughs> I promise that is my first class. <laughs> Michelle Evans, Sunshine Coast, wants to know how you do it all. I guess being a mum, a successful actress, now a writer, uh, you know, filming in movies. How do you how do awesome. the whole work-life balance? Like, like every mother, you know. I mean, it, it stems from having a tremendously supportive partner, which mm -hmm. I think is really important it's in life. And one thing that it, it gets touched on, but I don't think. Um, enough, you know, like having time to, to work on what I love is, is massively thank you to Daniel. I'm here now with you guys yeah. doing this because <laughs> he has Daniel. the kids. Thanks, Dan. Um, <laughs> but also, but also, you know, I, I love just to go with things. I'm a, I'm a go getter in life. I've always loved to 
um, when I say be successful, what I mean is um, thrive doing what I love, mm. whether that is having babies and spending time with my girlfriends or yeah. writing or acting. You know, I love to act. And the most important thing is, is looking after yourself, getting as much sleep as you yes. can. And, and um, Oh, good luck with two little ones. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's going really well, as you can imagine. You know, I think I'm maybe like three, three hours, hours sleep last night. Yeah, exactly. But that's all right. Like, you know, I'm here. We survived. We've survived. Yes. <laughs> We've survived. <laughs> I get really honest, as you can see. But um, to, again, long answer. I think it's all about just taking uh, each thing as it comes. So one of the questions that's popped up, um, and I didn't even think about it until the question came through, but um, Joanne from Tamworth wanted to know whether you actually got to kiss Chris Hemsworth and what it was like to work with Chris Hemsworth on the set of Home and Away. Such a great question. <laughs> because we all want to know. We all want to know. <laughs> Yeah, you forget that Chris was on Home and Away. You do forget yeah. that Chris was on Home yeah. you, you know, you do, because yeah. it, his success is yeah. so gigantic. Um, he's very... So can I, like, steal your phone and get his phone number? No, just yeah. phone number. <laughs> I'll send you some photos of him yeah. as well. I'm joking. That's don't awesome. don't sue me. Yeah, Chris's people, I was joking. That was in jest. Don't sue me. Um, nicest guy. Yeah. So normal. Like, like I'm talking very salt of the earth normal. Um, really, really friendly. Always very professional, always loved his work, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, <laughs> but I'll tell you something, because obviously I've come on the show to talk freely. I don't want to like, make you guys feel like you're being ripped off and not getting goss. I did a... Um, we like goss. Yeah, yeah we yes. like goss. <laughs> Nothing malicious. Hearing but... it first on here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I did... Um, uh, I worked with Pepsi a couple of years ago, oh, like six years ago now, and did uh, a campaign for them mm. um, called Pepsi Light. And basically, you know, there's a scene and I'm in an elevator with this really hot guy and I'm like, I think he's asking me out, but it turns out he's on like a, a headset. And yeah. at the very end, I kind of bite my lip and I'm like, so if I go out with him, or I can't believe he asked me out was the line. And I saw Chris Hemsworth, um, Chris Hemsworth, Chris, I saw, I saw him, we went to the Borat premiere a couple yeah. of years ago. Not together, we were just, yes. we were just at the Borat, we were just at the Borat premiere hanging out. And I said to him, so did you see it? And he was so nice. He's like, yeah, yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it. And he says... There is a scene at the end which make uh, which um, gives me a massive erection. When I bite my lip, I was like, "Hang on, what are you saying, Chris? He's saying I'm like turning you on. Like, yeah, it's really sexy." Do you, you know? Go, go, Do you mean I'm like, yeah? Turning you on. Do you like it? Really? This is so like funny. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Do so you like me now? <laughs> um, Imagine, oh God, imagine if he saw what I just said and his wife, so I'm joking. But, um, and I don't think he was actually serious, but I'm going to take it. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. pretend, hey, I gave Chris an erection. Let's yeah, own it, awesome. right? Well, I, I actually, this I last time I say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. Oh, this is so funny, but not as in, I'm so funny, but the thing itself was hilarious. I was just going through my old um, memorabilia because I have to be cluttered with the kids and the wardrobes yeah. and stuff. I need more space. I still have these boxes and I don't know why I kept it. But it's a poster in like a magazine. I think it might be like TV Week mm. or one of the, you know, magazines or OK or something. And it's a photo of Chris. And then the back of it, it's just a photo of me. Oh. And it says our names. And I thought... It's I'm, like you're spooning. It's like you're spooning. <laughs> but it's like... Awesome. <laughs> the survey's been done and the results are in. The big question this week is, how long does sex last for? The survey is out. How long should sex last for? And it's in. And on average, it's 5 minutes and 24 seconds. Oh, but what's the lowest point? 44 seconds is like the lowest. That's really bad. How do you even get undressed in 44 seconds? How like, do you, yeah, how do yeah. you get undressed, start kissing, doing the foreplay, yeah. damn, you're done. Yeah, it's not, it's, it doesn't happen. No. That how must have been, I reckon so. it was a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope so, because it's either going to be really, 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 really shit for the first time, sorry. Or a bit, you know, hopefully less painful, because it's not going to last that long. No. You know? But what was the most funniest part about the survey was, you know how they measured it? How? Stop watches. So before you begin sex, you click a stop. Oh, that's romantic. Nothing gets you in the mood like a stopwatch. It's like a timer. It's like, hang on, hang on, honey. Let's start the stopwatch. <laughs> hang on, you've got. Oh, that's right. Let's turn the stopwatch. And does it beep? Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. Can you just tell me when you, you know, hit that high note, and we'll just press stop on the stopwatch? How romantic. <laughs> You know what? Really? I feel really sorry for you. You know, it's probably better than somebody seconds. in a big white coat with a stopwatch going, go. <laughs> well, hey, depends what you're into. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, we've got a And stop. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the poor women that had 44 seconds of sex? Like, of the really? virgin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of the virgin? <laughs> well, if it was a virgin, it would be a bit of a um, badge to a pole. A bit of an honour. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be. Right, my, you know what it'll be? Yeah. It'll be right. 44 seconds, I've got to beat that. <laughs> 
Cody Abbott in a couple issues a little bit more time. 44 that's seconds. My that's my benchmark. That's my benchmark. Yep, that's my PB. Okay? Yeah. Yes, well, I mean, yes, yeah, exactly. Yes. At least, from, you know, like to, for things to get exciting, to get a bit sexy. I don't think I've had sex that lasted 44 seconds. No. I no. mean, maybe. I, my thing is, and this was so funny, like years ago, um, my husband, this was probably pre kid, so I did yeah. the pasta in the microwave and it cooks for seven minutes yes. yeah so it's like you know the our got some running grill now is like you've got seven minutes yeah you yeah. oh, what is that, oh, is that a from, you know those continental yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. i'm in my microwave for 10 minutes it's so like five minutes no 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 <laughs> seven um seven. we put, it, put the continental <laughs> thing in the microwave put our 10 minutes on ran upstairs because we're in the townhouse oh, down our thing come yeah. down there was three minutes left and so. the good thing is you've worked off some energy because you're having some pasta, you know. So the good thing is that should you be the rule of thumb. You need carbohydrates to your day. Exactly. Back up. Whatever you yeah, eat. Yeah, I'm Exactly. Just go to bed and burn it off. Everyone's happy. <laughs> so I think it's great. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. I'm proud of you guys. Seven yeah, minutes. Cool. Oh. To recline or not to recline. That has been the topic of the news this week when it comes to Grant Hackett and his explosive behaviour on a recent domestic flight from Adelaide to Sydney. So one of the big heated debates this week has been to recline or not to recline and we are referring to the Grant Hackett uh, incident that took place this week on a uh, domestic flight from Adelaide to Sydney where he lost his shit basically. It's like an hour of yeah. flight anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like oh my god you're reclining. Like I'm sorry you're not flying to South Africa. You know like we're not on the flight this long period of time where it'd be a big deal anyway. But anyway sorry keep going. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, I'm of the stance of like, what the hell? I don't know the guy. I've never met him. Um, you don't pay for your... Well, you don't really pay for your space. You pay for the seat. Yes. Like, what's the problem, you know? And mm. apart from the fact that it's incredibly bad manners. Yeah. Like, turn to the side. Stretch your feet out. Generally, you know, on a domestic flight. Yeah. it's in business class anyway, which you've already got... What's the problem? You know, extra... Yeah. What is the problem? Have that is drink. the problem. Yeah. He is the She's problem. She's less polite than me. I love <laughs> yes. it. No, totally. Um... Oh, just, you know, Louisville, well, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. So I think there's a bit yeah, like no, that. it's true. Really rude. It is. And I think... I love rude, though. I the question, I, I guess, is... Or what happened was he was on a flight. He'd been down, actually, to a function in, with the Adelaide Crows. And he was, um, a, I think, a guest speaker down there. Really well behaved. You know, really well presented. Talked really well. Got on the flight to, from Adelaide to come back home. Went to the bathroom for a, an extended period of time. And then... My um, high club. Came out agitated oh, and yeah, right. basically <laughs> sat back down in his chair. The person in front reclined their chair and he got up and screamed abuse at this this person and scruffed hold of him. No! Um, Are you serious? Yeah, on a flight. I thought you meant he was just like, oh, you know, mate, can you put your seat no, back on? No, no, no. It, it got, got violent. Yeah. And he then was yeah, oh, no. escorted off by Australian Federal Police. Good, so he should be. Um, and was found slumped in a wheelchair at... You know, off, as you exit off the plane. So was he My sort of, question was he is, drunk? what was he doing in the bathroom for that extended long period of time? There could yeah, be right. things yeah, yeah, that yeah. you could insinuate, but I think we right. need to know facts before yeah, we, we go sure. down that insinuate right. it. But the, I think the big but, topic was, and I know it, it was, you know, just to make light of it, I guess, is that the the right to recline or the right, you know, do you recline or do you not recline? Is it disrespectful to recline to the person behind you or not? Do right. you know what? Yeah. I always thought etiquette in the plane was that you can recline, but when your food comes along, mm. you, you have to straight it back up. And yeah. that's how I thought that yeah. was always etiquette in the plane. Yeah. I think when we came back from Bali, we did. I'm like, I'm a recliner. Oh, so I'm like tall, so tall you know, yes. I've got long legs. But I they can recline, recline as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you're. But I had this lady, like, meal, I know I was sleeping, but the meals had come around, and the lady behind me's like, on my, you know, arm. And I'm like, I'm waking up going, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, yeah, are we going down? <laughs> what's happening? Do I need your mask? Where's my mask? I love you, baby, I love you. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> and all she was going to the bathroom for a bit of fun before we go down, right? Exactly. And it was just that she wanted me to put my seat up. And the air hostess did say, you need to put your seat up while we're eating. While we're eating. Yeah. yeah. But apart from all of that, um, you can't get violent with someone for 
for not swearing. No, um, for reclining in a chair. No, that's so ridiculous. You, you're a recliner. Recl- I'm a recliner. Yes, recliner, recliner absolutely, yeah. because yeah. you do it with etiquette, and yeah. everybody can do it. Um, if there was a, if there was a pregnant woman behind with babies or whatever, but I need, I'd like, you know, mm. I was pregnant and I was travelling with my eight month old baby, so you can imagine yes. how much space I had. Yes. The person in front of me was so darling and said. Um, because she, she had a bad back and she was a bit big and she said, oh, do you mind if I put my seat back? And I said, oh my God, don't be ridiculous. Because mm. I did the same. Yeah. Trending all over social media this week was the news that Guns N' Roses lead singer Axl Rose is joining ACDC. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? So I guess this is probably a bit more of Helene and my vintage. But ACDC has had to drop their lead singer because of, of hearing issues and has asked Axl Rose, lead singer of Guns N' Roses, to join them. <laughs> and I'm, a bit, I'm a bit sort of... It's Where, a bit yeah, like, how are you feeling? Well, I'm a bit sort of... It's like the state of origin. You know, New South Wales versus Queensland. Mm-hmm. ACDC versus Guns N' Roses in our era. No, 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 no. And now no, they're yeah, together. No. Yeah. I'm sorry, but this is appetite for destruction. <laughs> sorry about pun, the, pun. the pun. Yeah. But... Really, he's got such an attitude. There's a reason why Guns N' Roses split up. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 And they won't get back together. I mean, there's been numerous rumours saying, oh, Guns N' Roses is going to get back together. He has sort of started his own little Guns N' Roses little tour thing Mm -hmm. and none of the other members wanted to be a part of it because they can't stand it. Like, really, I'm really surprised because... um, I just don't see it fitting. Like, oh, I, you look no, at him, the he voice, doesn't have the yes. look, you know, he just... The voice oh, is Has there. a lot to live up to. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh, my goodness. So much to live up to. But the thing is, like, I'm not... How do you say this? Like, you've got your own band. Yeah. You know, you've got to make peace with them. You know, like, obviously we need a replacement for it. But there's like, a reason why they don't want him. there's a reason they don't want him. Like, you can't see that, you know? You know, like, oh, oh legendary. So, and so, so much like they have now are. been ruined because they've put Axl Rose in. Who would be, like, a kick-ass, a kick-ass band member to join? Let's think about this. Ooh, I really... You've got to have the voice, don't you? Have you do. You have to have that little bit of a husky, rasp. What about Justin Bieber, obviously? Justin Bieber? Sorry. I was driving, I was like, what is this song? This is really cool. I know. I've actually become a little it's bit really of a bad. Bieber fan. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. We are yeah. not choosing that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, what about, like, Jimmy Barnes? Yes. Jimmy Barnes. Makes sense. And he's Australian. And he's he Australian. Australian. He's Australian. He's Australian. Yeah. He would be good. Jimmy Barnes yeah. would be excellent. Or, or, or John Jimmy. Stevens. He's got a great Absolutely. voice. Absolutely. He's he a has, singer. You know what? I had a little bit of a crush on him when I was younger. Did John you? Stevens? Yeah, John Stevens. Because when he was in noise work, Noise Works, yeah. I saw him on stage and he had the most amazing arms and I'm looking at his arms going, oh my god, please, yes, thank you. <gasps> yes! yes. Yeah, had a bit of a thing about John Stevens. Yeah. But um, not only that, but the lead singer from um, Screaming Jets. Oh, yes! yes. yes. I don't know his name, but be, absolutely. I don't know either, yeah, yes. but he would be awesome. A lot yeah. better than Axl Rose. Oh, yeah. Mm. Seriously. We they, should make some phone calls, let's seriously. Some, I think like, we need to contact We route. need to do SOS, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Rose is not going to work. He exactly, really is, yeah. yeah. He can is. run to the jungle. It's, it's just not. It's yeah. Not he, we won't be going to Paradise City. <laughs> <laughs> We're having too much fun here. So brace yourself because it is that time of the day. It is oh. never have I ever. Are you. A game. Yes. Are you scared? Oh, I love games. And you have to tell the truth on never have I ever. So it's either you have, I have never. Okay. And put your little paddle up. Yeah. I'm going to ask you some questions, Ooh. and you're going to need to answer them. Yeah. This is Helene's <laughs> menopause. Yes, I'm going through menopause. So this just because you're so high. Fair. Okay, great. All right. Never have I ever gone an entire day without putting any clothes on. Oh, oh hang on. Uh, mm. <laughs> hang on. Is this the right thinking. answer? I've been naked a lot of times at home. So I have never not gone a day. So have you gone like a whole day without putting any clothes on? Yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. When I first got with hours. Daniel, <laughs> pretty much. I've done oh, a couple I, of hours. I'll say I have. I've never. I can. I'm a couple of hours. Not, not a whole day. Count. Probably not a Hang whole on, day. Does this include sun some baking? An oh, entire yeah. day. An entire day. Some baking. Oh, no, because mm. some baking you get quite naked. You have, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, this is funny. Ooh. Never have I ever taken a selfie with a corpse. Oh. I'm going to say oh. I haven't taken a selfie, but I've taken a photo 
of a corpse. Yeah. Well, right? I was not Ash. Look. Okay, now you've done that. Yeah. Um, I was a little bit mortified with my sisters because they were taking photos with my mother when she passed away. Oh. As, yeah. Right. And it was an open casket. And I'm there going, no. What about respecting the dead? Like, yeah. no, I don't <coughs> care what. No, I just couldn't do it. But you've done, I've done it. Were you? My granddad. Oh. My granddad passed away and I was in New Zealand. But, the, but it's not no. like. And my grandma. Oh, oh really? Which one? Grandma, grandma. But it's not like you were Instagramming. No. You know, it's oh, like, no. you know, oh, I'm doing a selfie for Insta. You know, like, yeah. that's okay. That's memorabilia. I, I did do this. I, was, I wanted oh, God, to do this. Says. But <laughs> I felt really bad. So my dad last year had a really big operation and he nearly didn't make it through. Oh, is he so okay? He's good. He's good now. Great. Okay. Um, but he was, like, hooked up in ICU and, like, there was machines everywhere and he's, like, got tubes coming out everywhere and he's looking half dead. And poor Tracy, um, my stepmom, is sitting there, obviously feeling like, oh my god, what's happening? And all I'm thinking is, I want to do a selfie with Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole thing is, that I know your dad and the relationship you have with your dad. Dad would want this, I yeah, promise he would. you. Really? He would yeah. find it quite funny. Yeah, there is. I wanted, to, I wanted to get the little tele, the little thingy, and go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it? No, because Tracy. 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 But your dad would have thought it was hilarious. Yes. He I think it's it. hilarious. Yeah, I, well, think I can it's see hilarious. where you get your awesome personality yeah. from. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so I know. Oh, I yes. do so it. You've got to be aware of the quiet ones. I need to deny her. It's always the quiet ones, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm. Oh, never have I ever shaved my <coughs> private parts into a weird shape. <laughs> oh, shit. How about. I've just, done everything. Yeah. <laughs> Rid of it all together. Yeah. <laughs> no, neither do I. What yeah. was your weird shape? It was like a little. <laughs> it was a little love heart. Oh god. It was a little like. Well, it was an attempted love heart because it was the first time I was like. I think I was 16, 17. Yeah, and I was like, well, I don't want to have these anymore. Like, I've just become kind of sexually active, and I was like, you know, I want to get kind of like romantic. And did sexy. you try so to do the most sense unsexy sense thing. Thing. <laughs> No, I got some, I got like some scissors. I'm not joking. Oh really? Like, to kind of, and it's difficult when you're this angry, you know, you're like, oh, hang on. And I was trying, you to, to, trying to cut myself, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, well, I'm just going to use a razor instead. So, yeah, no, I got a bit, and I'm really bad at art. Uh, so, you can kind of imagine, like, more of a, you know, like a sphere sort of shaped kind of thing. But the intention was still a love heart. But um, I did it for, like, my first my first serious boyfriend, you know, I was like, oh, just Did he go, fun. what's that? <laughs> I, think, I think I might turn the lights off, I think, you know, and we just kind of, in the end, what's I was like, you know, I'm just going to get rid of that all together. Which is um, kind of, yeah, yeah, like my first stage of, you know, like discovering the body. You would have had to, if I, I, mean, if I was going to try to do it, I would have had to have a mirror there just to try oh, and I know, see I, what it was. I think, because we had like this really big bathroom. Or done a stencil. Bathroom. Oh, a stencil would have been good. I didn't yeah. think about that. It's kind of impromptu, but my mum is, you know, I love, my mum, please don't watch this, but um, <laughs> big kind of cool la, bathroom la, la, where la, you la. have like this big shower, like awesome double shower heads yeah. and like this big mirror. <laughs> so, so you got the leg up. <laughs> Very long answer again. Yeah, I have. I have, I have never. Oh, we've got to have more on the show. Yeah, no, I have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, this is what, never, this okay. is probably your Chris Hemsworth. Never have I ever sent a nude photo to the wrong person. Mm. Uh, mm. I have never. I have never. But I've had one sent to me. Oh. Really? Yes. A worker. Oh, God, stop. No, really yeah. hilarious. What happened? Well, her oh, husband what? works away. <laughs> in the mines and oh. so she's done um a video less of herself masturbating ah. and oh. sent it to the it husband. wasn't even a photo it was no oh it was God. a full on video it was on a her video. phone and sent it to her husband and i've got this ding ding <laughs> at 9 30 yeah, at night yeah oh, at 9 30 at night i'm like why is she texting me at this time of night? And Pete and I are like, you know, half asleep on the couch and I pull that out. Yeah. Up. Oh, that would have worked. Yeah, 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 you would love that. Hey, more ways than one. I'm like, Oh, what? she would have died of embarrassment. Oh, are you did. close? Are you friends? Like, is it not anymore? Oh, God. <laughs> she you got too up close and personal. <laughs> did she have a weird shape kind of pube? Hang on, we need to go back to this. So... Um, but how does she mistake husband? Well, like I think Tam? I'm not sure how, but she's you know sent him oh, him no. me this message, right. and like 20 minutes later, half an hour later, she sent him a text going, "You haven't responded to my video." And he goes, "I didn't get the video." <laughs> oh, and she's like, "Oh shit, who have I sent that to?" And me. 
So I don't know whether her husband had the same name <laughs> close to me and she's picked up the He's wrong like, one. Yeah, Timothy or something like that. Oh yes, my she god. Was mortified. Mortified. Yeah, no, I'm just like <laughs> But see, you so, are so I great. saw it. Like that could I was be watching it. <laughs> yeah, really? That I'm like, could really? Is, is that what you do? Really? <laughs> I'm gonna open it. And I can just tell. You know, just like just Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Never have I ever slept with a coworker. Oh shit! I have. I have. <laughs> I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah. My, my husband. Oh. So you've been married since you were like, yeah. together since you were 15. Yeah, we worked together too. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I definitely have. Oh, I'll go yeah. you. Um, how do I say it? <laughs> Basically, all my partners I've met at work. So yeah, I've pretty much, you know, like Did fucked you every guy I've worked with. Well <laughs> <laughs> Can we beat that? Sorry. <laughs> what did she say? I missed it. <laughs> I won't oh, repeat man. it. Before that, like my first partner that I was talking about, um, who I really hope doesn't see this is slurious, but um, he was the accountant for Home and Away. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, that's how we yeah. met. And then my other partner, um, I wouldn't say who this was. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really want to say who this was, but I don't. Just better not. Um, go with your gut. Go with the gut, yeah. Yeah. It used to be a little bit smaller before. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, but look, yeah, I think it's natural to meet people on the job. Everyone kind of meets someone. I think so, definitely. So, I have had a one night stand. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christy, hilarious. I've only slept, I can't believe I'm going to say this. <laughs> I've slept with six people. One of them is my fiance. So, not that many. Yeah. I'm almost 30. No. I've slept with five guys prior. I've that's always been in the relationships. That's my thing. Yeah, yeah right. So, exactly. I think that's quite good. I think yep. it's awesome. Yeah, yeah totally. Number. Mine's it's one, cute. but that's okay. But it's exactly. But you feel cheated. Did no, you? because no. Why would you? No, because no. him and I know each other so well yeah. Yeah. that we yeah. know exactly how to push each other's buttons. Yeah. Uh, never have I ever been been such a hot mess that I found myself with no phone, no money, no friends, and still managed to get home. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not proud of it. But only once. <laughs> only once. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't really like. <clears throat> Prior to having kids, I wasn't really a trash bag in the sense. I mean, I've always loved to drink, but I come around to my Obviously. house, let's open a couple of bottles of wine, kind of girl. I'm yep. not clubbing and all that sort of stuff, mostly because I, you know, go to bed at ten. Yeah. But um, yeah, like I was actually at Sam Atwell's house. Yeah. He played yeah, my okay. husband on Home and Away. He played yep. Kane. Yep. And you know, Friday night, one thing led to another. Not with each other, but yeah. we had like. 20,000 bottles of wine, everyone came around, people from Home and Away came around, it was just one of those nights, I lost my wallet, had no money, I was like, oh my god, I was single at the time, so I was like, and I'd already left Sam's, no credit card, I'm like, and I didn't have a phone, so I'm like, <laughs> Do you walk who am I going, going to call? Yeah, who are you going to call? So I think, Go was was yeah. <laughs> I think like what happened was, um, I had to get from Bondi to Ulamalu and I said to the cab driver, it was like 12 the next day. It had been a big, big night. Day. And I think he took pity on me and I said, look, you know, and I think <laughs> you he, he, he recognised <laughs> me as well. And I don't mean that in a total, like, loserish way, but yeah. he was talking about home and away with me, which is just so embarrassing. Like, imagine being in a cab, like, so drunk. And the night before, I just like, yeah, he was a great time. Can you imagine the story <laughs> he's telling his friends? I like, imagine he's, like, told his kids, yeah, I picked Kirsty up in a cab. Anyway, you and, and I said, her. she was trash. <laughs> kept saying this I'm like I never do this I never do this and he's like it's okay that you've done it he yeah. said it's like a $15 trip it's cool yeah. I said I can, can I use your phone to call my mum and she can put it on her credit card yeah. um, but I didn't know a number of my heart and so I did like <laughs> show today we're going to do a little um, thing we haven't done before it's called the last word so you need to finish these sentences I love this sort of stuff okay <clears throat> I grew up in uh, North Nara the first thing I do when I wake up is um, not want to look in the mirror <laughs> if I could be better at anything it would be drinking less <laughs> I'm at my happiest when uh, with my family when I am not working I am thinking about wanting to work acting really always yeah mm. I wish I could uh, win an Oscar. Oh, most people don't know that I. Oh, uh, most people don't know that I. I um, I'm not as straight as I seem. Mm, a bit. <laughs> I know that about you. <laughs> <laughs> when I grow up, I wanted to be an actress. Always. Yeah. Always. I couldn't live without. Um, I couldn't live without. I couldn't. Sorry, there's a massive gap here right now. I was about to say family and, and friends like that, but I couldn't live without being creative. Mm. And I know that sounds. 
kind of cliche. No, no but, that's good. But I, um, like I couldn't live without being creative and, and, and having hope. Yeah. My greatest achievement is my children. Yeah. Mm. My most annoying habit is my children. <laughs> <laughs> my most annoying Touché. habit. <laughs> My most annoying habit, my most annoying habit, um, cancelling. I'm a cancer. Are you? I make plans with friends. I get too tired. Like, oh, you know, let's 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 book this. Let's do that. Okay, I'm so excited at 10 a.m. Oh, I'm glad you didn't cancel today. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I wouldn't miss this for the world. But you ask my friends, and like, oh, hey, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming, yeah. you're coming. Um, that annoys a lot of my friends. Mm. And then, what hashtag pretty. best describes you? Um, oh god, I love this. Oh, questions. that is good. That is How really good. Is that? good. Um, buttercup. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you will be now. You have to hashtag me, buttercup. <laughs> hashtag, awesome. hashtag. Oh, like crap housewife, buttercup. dreamer, believer, <laughs> big believer. Um, hashtag, hashtag. Seeker, I guess. Seeker describes yeah, seeker. always seeking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining awesome. us. Oh my gosh, thank you yes, so thank much you. for having me. This is so awesome. I don't want to end. This is the most fun <laughs> I've ever had on any show whatsoever. Oh, so thank, thank you, you so much. Awesome. You must come back. Can I? Yes. yes. yes oh my gosh, definitely. Yeah. Yes. And then when I come back, um, can I write some questions? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Guys. Oh, thank you for joining us. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Wine O'Clock Show here in glorious Sydney. Be sure to like The Wine O'Clock Show on Facebook and subscribe to iStyle TV on YouTube to catch each and every episode as it airs. We are here on Facebook each Friday at 5pm. Until next Friday, have a fabulous weekend.